Hi guys, so in today's tutorial we're going to be learning about the splice method. So splice method is a JavaScript area method that we can use to change or remove elements of an array. This is completely opposite to the splice method because the splice method mutates an array which means it changes the original array if we apply the splice method on our array it is going to change it completely and it's not going to be the same thing so i'll be using this uh, array to explain the splice method in javascript for us and how we can use it in our project and understand it perfectly. So let's take for instance, we are working on a website for students, maybe to register students with their names. And let's say for instance, just to mark for the register, like is the student present in the class or not? So this is just basic. Don't will be something much, but just to explain what our uh, splice method in JavaScript is and how it works. So coming back here now, we have the list of all these names: Melissa, Clark, Kelly, Rose, Beatrice, Christian, Tatum, Lisa, Susan, and uh, Gloria. So let's say now. We have this. Let me just do this. So don't forget, I said it's mutates the original. Array. So let me see. We have the students' names. Then let's see. We have console log. Student names. Surprise. Then here yeah. in the splice method. We can pass in three parameters, which is the start, the it count, and the uh, let me just say this. And what this does is this. This start is this start. We are going to pass in the index that we want to remove from the original array the delete count is the amount of elements we plan to delete after the index that we passed here but this this is okay let's see for instance we want to replace after removing the parts here let's say we want to change we want to change it then the argument we pass here is going to be replaced this can be more than this we can have Another one. It's not necessary, it's not compulsory, it's this one. It can be more than one, it can be more than two. So, since I'm just explaining, so that is why we're just going to work with one in this um, tutorial. So, now to, to implement what I just explained. Let's say now, for instance, we want it to start from index zero. So if we say index zero, so let's see what it's going to give us. Okay, let me just take this out. So we have this. So, sorry, I was supposed to give 
the second parameter here, which is the delayed counts. Mm -hmm. So if you can see, I'm telling JavaScript that okay, splice my array students' names. I start from index of zero. Then after starting from the index of index of zero, I want you to delete two elements. So which means it is going to delete this Melissa and this Clark. So we are going to be left with Kelly top lawyer. You can see here this is exactly what happens here. This is exactly what happens here. So that is how the splice method works. But one thing about splice method in it you know, is you cannot pass in a negative. You cannot pass in a negative index maybe yeah, put minus one. Right, let's say it put like minus five here. This is still going to work, but if if we tell you that we're telling it okay, uh, let me say zero. Yes, it's just going to give us the original array back. It's not going to remove anything it's not going to take away anything and it's not going to replace anything so I hope you understand that. so let's say I come back here now and say I want you to start deleting from one then I want you to delete three elements so you see now it's deleted three elements it starts from one which is Clark, then it deletes Clark, Kelly, and Rose. Then we have Melissa, Beatrice, Christian, Catherine, and the others. So that is how this price method work in JavaScript. So um, now, okay, the third argument. Okay, now let's see now. After after we we, we, we told JavaScript that okay, start from here, delete three elements. So after deleting the three elements, let's say for instance, we want it to replace those three elements with, let me say, um, um, Anthony. Let's see now, a person, Anthony. Let's see what's going to happen. Okay, now you see, it replaces this Clark, Kelly, Rose, and coming on to this one. So it replaces this Clark Kelly rules with Anthony. So that is what the third um, argument does. If we want to pass in more of this, we can put Blake. So if we put Blake, you see, 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 it's still going to be added to. So if we want to change, let's say, okay. We want to change each of this name, maybe later a student left the school. Let's say this Clark Kelly Rose they left the school. Then we want another student to pick over their seat in school. So we can replace it like this. Okay. Anthony is going to take over Clark. Blake is going to take over Kelly's um table at school. So I hope because you are able to understand the basic of how splice method works. And if okay, let me just okay, let's say we have one. Let's say we have one there. Yeah. Just to please add by one. So now for instance, let's say okay, you just want to add to this original array, like you want to add to this original array, but all these all these elements present in it is still going to be available right so i can just say okay start from index of zero don't delete any elements then add on to the servers going to happen now you see we have 11 11 elements inside our rc this is the original the students the one that i, I console log here this is the new one it's under here so if you can notice now that the original element is still here and the new one 
that we added Anthony is there. So this is the Anthony we had because we're turning it to that. Okay, start from zero, but don't delete any elements. Delete zero elements in short. Now, after deleting zero elements, I want you to add Anthony. So let's say now we add big game. So the school takes in a lot of students. So now they have big, they have Patricia. So let's see now. See, so it's added Anthony Blake and uh, Patricia to the to the array from um, students names that we have there. So that is the basic ways, basic methods or that is the basic explanation of how express method works. JavaScript. I hope when you're working on your projects, you are able to implement some of this. And sometimes you might not even need it throughout the project. It doesn't really matter. But the most important thing is you're able to understand how you can use splice method in your project, how you can implement splice method whenever you need it when designing. So thank you so much for watching.